Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we studied what is selection screen or what is input screen. We dig down into parameter. We dig down into select option. Then we studied the various variations of parameters and select option. In this video, we will study how to create a selection screen block or we can say how to create a input screen block. Firstly, I will show you one output and same to same thing we will create in our program. Suppose we have a sample program. I am running this program. You can see we have three inputs here, but out of this, there is a box there is a box or there is a block which is covering these three input. So these three input are in this particular block. So what is our target? How to create this particular block? If I will show you our program, in our program as of now, there is no block available. There is no block available. Now what customer is saying? I want a block outside this. I want a block which is covering all these parameters and select option. I want a block which cover all these input fields. So our target is how to create this particular block, how to create this selection screen block. So how to create? I will go for the program first. Now, these all parameters and select option will be the part of our selection screen block or we can say input screen block. So how to create? Firstly, I will write the keyword selection screen. The keyword is selection screen. Now, after that, I will write Begin of block. Begin of block. It's a keyword itself. Now I need to give some name to the block. Suppose I'm saying P1 and I'm putting dot. So what I did, I used a keyword selection screen. I used a keyword begin of block. And I gave the name to the block. Now this is the starting of the block. Now we need to end the block also. So how to end the block? I will write selection screen. Now I will write end of block. Now what is the name of the block? B1 and I am putting so this is the starting of the block. This is the end of the block. And in between this start and end, we have the parameters and select option. You can give any name to the block. It is totally, totally your wish. Now I'm checking the syntax and activating the program. Now, whenever I will run the program, you can see we gave a starting of the block. We gave a ending of the block. But have you seen nothing block is not visible to us. Now, how the block will be visible to us? That is the most, most important part. I need to give a title to the block. I need to give a title. How to give title? I'm simply writing with frame title with frame title the keyword is with frame title now i am writing text hyphen zero 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 this is the most most important part and it will be a new learning totally and the future in the future, it will play a vital role during the programming practices. Now, I want to give a block title. So how, how to give the title? I used a keyword with frame title 
and I put text hyphen zero zero zero. Remember, whenever you are using text keyword, and after that, whenever you are giving three digit number, those are always always called as text symbols. They are always called as text symbol. Now, text symbol number always varies from 000 to 999. You can give any three digit number. It is totally your wish. It varies from 000 to 999. Now, just remember or just recall the past topics. We covered when we covered that topic data object we covered we have three types of data object variable constant and text symbol text symbol so text symbol is also also a data object now what is data object which hold the data which hold the data so how how we will give the data to this data object how we will give the value to this data object. If I will show you the theory of text symbol, you can simply, simply recall that topic. If I will go for this data object, yes, we have text symbol. Text symbol is also a data object, but you will not declare in the program. We have not declared in the program. It is defined as a part of text elements of the program. See, we declare this variable in the program, but, but text symbol, we have not declared in the program. Where it will be declared? It will be declared as a part of text elements of the program. Now the question comes, from where, where you can go for the text elements. You simply firstly activate. You can go for go to text element. Previously, we went for where selection text. Now we need to go for where text symbol, text symbol. So I'll go for text symbol. And what the number we gave to the text symbol? Zero, zero, zero. You can give any three digit number. It is total your wish. It will varies from 000 to 999. Suppose I am saying text symbol 000 stands for input screen. Or we can say input values. I will activate. Now just now you can relate very easily. Is Text symbol is a data object. Yes, text symbol is a data object. 000, zero, zero text symbol has this particular data, has this particular value. But have you declared this in the program? No, you have not declared in the program. You declare as a part of text symbol. So text symbol is also a data object. Why it is a data object? Because it has the data. It has this particular value. But we are not declaring in the program. We are declaring in that text symbol. And you can give any number from 000 to 999. So what we did, we created the block. We ended the block. We gave a title to the block using what? Using text symbol and you know whenever you are using text symbol in the program use by using the keyword text and pass that number now whenever i will run the program you can see block is visible now clearly clearly block is visible and have you seen input values is coming and from where it is coming it is coming from that text symbol and what text symbol 000 stands for input values and yes text symbol is also also a data object important part during the best programming practices we will do everything through text symbol 
we will not hard code anything we will do everything through text simple so this is a totally a new learning in this particular video how you can create text symbols and yes text symbol is a data object now what is the summary of the video in this video we studied how to create a selection screen block whenever you want to create a selection screen block you need to give begin of block name of the block and you need to end the block but block was not visible you need to give a title to the block so how to give the title to the block you need to use the keyword with frame title but we gave the title to the block using text symbols using text symbol so whenever you want to go for text symbol yes how you can go for text symbol go to text element text symbol you can give three digit number and you can give the text whatever the text you want to print and how you can use in the program text hyphen that three digit number and text symbol is also also a data object the only thing is we are not declaring in the program we are declaring as a part of text symbols of that program so that's it in this particular video thank you